the greater mouse deer. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm picking blueberries. Look how ripe they are. Mmm, and they taste really fresh and sweet. Let's pick blueberries together. It'll be fun. That's strange. Where have the blueberries gone? They were right here a moment ago. Look, they're disappearing. What is it, Hero? Is that a deer? Hmm, it looks like a deer, but it's so small. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little guy. Katie, are you there? We just found a strange looking deer in the garden. Hi, Leo. That's not a deer, though it sure looks like one. Come on up and I'll tell you more. All right, see you soon. Hero, you stay here and make sure our new friend doesn't eat any more of our blueberries, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So if it's not a deer, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you've just found is a mouse deer. It's called a mouse deer because it has hooves, like a deer. But its face and body is similar to that of a mouse. There are different types of mouse deer, and the one you found is called a greater mouse deer. Why is it called a greater mouse deer? That's because of all the different mouse deer, it's the largest. Still, mouse deer are small in size compared to other hoofed animals. In fact, they are the smallest hoofed animals in the world. Being small helps them hide better in the wild. They have long, pencil-thin legs that make them quick on their feet. They are also nocturnal animals, which means they are active during the night. This is why the mouse deer is almost never seen. I see. We almost missed it eating our blueberries. The greater mouse deer likes to eat fruits, but they also eat leaves and aquatic plants. By the way, it lives in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm, I don't think there are enough blueberries in our garden. We should return it to its home. Come and join us. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. What are those things, Ranger Rocky? These are animal traps. I found them by the bushes. Luckily, no animal was caught, and I'm making sure they never will. What happens to animals that get caught in the traps? They might be taken for their meat or fur. Anyway, it's bad news for the animal, so better watch out for these traps. Ah, I see you've brought along a greater mouse deer. What a lovely creature. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it in our garden, and we're trying to return it to its home. Greater mouse deer mostly live alone or with just one partner. Their homes or territories are quite small. Just keep a lookout for a place with lots of shrubs, bushes, and plants close to water. These animals like to live near water because they can hide in it from predators, while at the same time live in thick undergrowth. Undergrowth? Undergrowth is the shrubs and other plants growing beneath trees in the forest. The greater mouse deer uses the undergrowth to travel through tiny, tunnel-like trails in the forest. It helps them to stay hidden. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here is a stream near a tree, and on this side is a stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a stream near a tree. And over there is a stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes because the mouse deer likes to live near water and it uses the undergrowth to stay hidden. 
Let's go. I guess we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Come on, everybody. <laughs> what is it, Hero? The mouse deer is gone? Where is it? It's so hard to see anything here. <coughs> what was that? The mouse deer might be in danger. Hero, lead the way. <coughs> the mouse deer is trapped. This must be one of the animal traps Ranger Rocky warned us about. <coughs> I can't lift the door. I think there's some kind of lock on it. That's it, Hero. Let's all dig a hole together. Yeah. That's a great idea. We can make a tunnel for the mouse deer. Almost there. It's still not big enough. We can use this. It's working. You can do it, mouse deer. We did it! We saved the mouse deer! Yay! Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the greater mouse deer's home, just follow the moonlight. Not a blue kite or a brave knight, but follow the moonlight. I see. So not a blue kite or a brave knight, but, but follow, follow the, the moonlight. moonlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mouse deer's home, you have to follow the moonlight. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the mouse deer's home. There are lights. Is that moonlight? Hmm, no it's not. Those are fireflies. So let's continue. What do you think that is? That's right, it's moonlight. The trail seems to be leading somewhere. Let's follow it. Can you see what that is? That's right, it's a stream. This place must be the mouse deer's home. Great work, hero. We're coming over. Look, another mouse deer. And they recognize each other. We did it. We found the mouse deer's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a greater mouse deer in our garden. We learned that the mouse deer feeds on fruits and plants and lives close to water and forest undergrowth. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Vervet Monkey Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> Hero, we're having a picnic again. Here are my snacks. So where's yours? Where's your bone? <laughs> Did you find it, Hero? Hey, I thought there were more grapes and apples. Hmm. Oh, hi Hero, you found your bone. I seem to have lost some food. Do you know where it might be? What? A monkey? Oh, hello. Do you want to join us with a picnic? The monkey really seems to like the fruit. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? We just had a picnic with a little monkey. Hi, Leo. That sounds fun. 
Can you find more information about this monkey? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch your new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So what did you find out about the monkey? Hi, Leo. This monkey is called a vervet monkey. And as you have noticed, vervet monkeys like fruit a lot. They also eat things like leaves and flowers. And occasionally, they eat insects and even birds, eggs, and lizards. Vervet monkeys have cheek pouches, which means they can store food in their cheeks and save it for later. The vervet monkey lives in certain parts of Africa. There, vervet monkeys live in trees. They look for food on the ground during the day, and at night, they sleep in the trees. What's that beeping sound? Oh, it's an alert. Oh, no. It seems that a young vervet monkey was brought into the country recently, and that's against the law. I think it's the monkey you found in the garden. Then we should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. Let's go. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. I had a feeling you would be here today. We're taking this young vervet monkey home, Ranger Rocky. We think someone secretly brought it into our country. Good work, Junior Rangers. Vervet monkeys have predators like leopards and snakes. But their biggest threat is perhaps the human. Because vervet monkeys sometimes steal food, some people get rid of them by shooting or poisoning them. Fortunately, vervet monkeys are very agile. They can run, swim, jump, and climb very well. This helps them to escape from their enemies. Vervet monkeys are also very good at warning each other of danger. They live in large groups which are called troops. Vervet monkeys in a troop alert others with alarm calls when they sense predators. They have different alarm calls for different types of predators. Wow, that's really smart. It is, Leo. By the way, male vervet monkeys have bright blue scrotums. The vervet monkey you found doesn't have this yet, because it's still young. It really needs to be with its mother and troop. Just remember, vervet monkeys need to drink water daily, so they prefer to live near water. They do not like to live in open areas with no trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a grassy area with only one tree. And on this side is also grass, but there are more trees. And there's also a river. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a grassy area with one tree. And over there is a grassy area with many trees and a river. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go there because vervet monkeys need to drink a lot of water and they live in the trees. Let's go. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> hey, vervet monkey, where are you going? Leo, that could have been the alarm call Ranger Rocky told us about, remember? When they sense danger, the vervet monkeys warn each other by making an alarm call. So that's why our vervet monkey ran off. It's trying to hide. Come on, let's join him. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are you okay, Katie? I'm okay, Leo. This hole must be some kind of trap to capture wild animals. How are we going to get out of here? It's too high. Hero, can you help us? I hope there's nothing dangerous out there. Hero, is that you? It's the monkey! They found something to help us climb out. Work, monkey and hero. You saved us. Now let's get you back home. <laughs> S 
So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the young monkey's home, just look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look for a troop of vervet monkeys. I see. So not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look, look for, for a troop, troop of vervet monkeys. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young vervet monkey's home, you have to look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a troop of vervet monkeys. What about this place? Hmm, I see some trees, but... There aren't any vervet monkeys, so let's keep looking. What are those? Those are monkeys, but they look different. So they're not vervet monkeys. Let's continue. What can you see here? There's a river and there are trees, and those are monkeys. It's a troop of vervet monkeys. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look, Leo. It's the vervet monkey's mother. We did it. We found the young vervet monkey's home and its troop. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! a young vervet monkey in our garden. We learned that vervet monkeys live in troops and that they warn each other with alarm calls. So we took it home to reunite it with its troop and mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The crab-eating macaque. Hero! Where are you, Hero? Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's play a game of fetch. I will throw this stick very far away, and you will get it and return it back to me. You ready? Fetch! Hero, you're supposed to get the stick. Ow! That's weird. Sticks don't fly. Come on, guys. Let's have a look. There's nothing here. It's a monkey! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, monkey. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a monkey. We found it in the garden. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. That's a very interesting monkey. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the monkey. Bingo! This monkey is a macaque. A macaque? Yes, a macaque. A macaque is a type of monkey. And the monkey you found is a crab-eating macaque. I guess there must be a lot of crabs to eat. Not really. Crab-eating macaques actually don't eat that much crabs. It's an omnivore. 
so it can eat different types of plants and small animals. Where does it come from? Crab-eating macaques live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The macaque you found comes from this place. Hmm, I think the macaque got lost. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male macaque. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to find his family. Hmm. I don't think that's a good idea, Leo. It's very important that you don't look for his family. Don't look for his family? Why not? Most crab-eating macaque males will leave their family when they are old enough. They will look for a new group of macaques. The macaque you found is a male, and he left his group to look for a new one. I think he got lost. Then we should help him find a new group of macaques. Good idea, Leo. Crab-eating macaques are usually found in trees. You might want to look for a place with a lot of trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here's a field with a road and some trees. And on this side are a lot of trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some trees. And over there are a lot of trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a place with a lot of trees. Because macaques are usually found in trees. Let's go. Oh no! There are too many trees here. It's impossible to walk. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We can't climb like that. He's gone. What is it, Hero? Stairs? Let's go up and have a look. Hey, this monkey is also a macaque. But this one is much bigger. Whoa! What are you doing? Were you looking for this? If you give me the binoculars, I will give you this banana. What is it, Hero? A sign? Hmm. I think it means we cannot give the monkeys food. It says that they have to find their own food, or else they might bother us and try to steal our things. Oh dear. Careful, Leo. Do not smile with your teeth showing, because the macaques will see that as a sign of aggression. Time to leave. Everybody, let's fly. I think we should look for another group of macaques for you. These macaques weren't so nice. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! If you want to find a group of macaques, just look up in the trees. Not in the bees or high in the cheese, but look up in the trees. I see. So not in the bees or high in the cheese, but, but look, look up, up in, in the, the trees. trees. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a group of macaques, you have to look up in the trees. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a group of macaques. Hero, look up in the trees. Are those macaques? Hmm, those are birds. Let's continue. Do you know what those are? Correct, those are 
fruits. So let's keep looking. Can you see what they are? That's right. They are macaques. Good work, hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a group of macaques for our new friend. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> found a macaque in our garden. We learned that a macaque is a monkey. We went to the rainforest and found a group of other macaques it can live with. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 